Okay, so what we're going to try to do then is we're going to try and model what happens when we take an x-ray. First of all, this is Mr. Silverman. Mr. Silverman is our volunteer for the day. Say hi, Mr. Silverman. Oh, he doesn't want to. Hi, Mr. Silverman. So he is going to be our, uh, our model. Uh, so if you take a look down here, what we've got is we have Mr. Silverman's arm in a plastic bag. Uh, now let me explain this. So first off, in terms of x-rays, what x-rays do is they are able to transfer through soft tissue. So they can get through your skin and your flesh. But they can't get through bone. They are absorbed by bone. Bone does not allow them to go through. Now, the equivalent for that in visible light is that a plastic see-through bag is transparent to visible light. Uh, but these, uh, these hands here, these, uh, these bones here made out of plastic, they're not. So that's the equivalent of, uh, of the visible light equivalent of what's happening in an x-ray, is that an x-ray will find the soft tissue transparent, whereas visible light will find the plastic bag transparent, and uh, x-rays will find the bones opaque in the same way that visible light will find these bones opaque. Now, what normally happens in an X-ray is that we will shine the X-rays down from above and underneath we'll have a photographic plate. Uh, now, the photographic plate starts off as white and then when the X-rays hit it, um, it turns the photographic plate to black. Now, we don't have a photographic plate, but what we have instead is we have a fluorescent sheet. Now, a fluorescent sheet starts off as kind of a... a, a green, sort of standard green colour, um, and then when light uh, hits it, it becomes fluorescent, it starts to fluoresce. So we're going to pop that underneath in the same position that we might have a, uh, that we might have a photographic plate in a real x-ray. Okay, so now the arm is in position underneath the x-ray uh, machine, which will be the lamp in this case, so we're going to just have a really bright visible light, um, and let's see what happens. So. X-rays would pass through the flesh in the same way that the light should pass through the bag and it should be stopped by the bone. So cool. Okay, let's take a look. So we're taking the X-ray. That's so clever. Okay. Now let's remove the photographic sheet, sorry, the uh, fluorescent sheet. And here we go. Wow, okay, so God. here we have our X-ray. So you can clearly see the bits where the plastic bag was, the uh, the visible light just travelled straight through it and changed the colour of the paper behind it. Uh, but where the bones were, the bones absorbed the visible light in the same way that the bones would absorb the x-rays that were trying to pass through them. And that's how we get our images. Shout out to Mr Bunter Squad, I hope you're alright. You are lucky to have this man as your physics teacher. <laughs> Isn't that incredible?